Rightio, now we've got a special treat for you tonight. Uh, it's a bit of an experiment. I'm going to be making something that I've never made before. In fact, it's not even my recipe. This is courtesy of Tegan, our fine camera in here. It's a cheese and lentil pie, so another pie. This time not full of meat. Happy vegetarian meal. It is, however, full of cheese, of course. So, back to our old blaze. Starting with an onion, and what I'm going to do is just set the onion down with some fennel and some other bits and pieces. Get that started. Some mushrooms, etc. And then we are going to make a delicious pie filling. Fill a pie and cook the shit out of it. Cheers. Okay, that's going to be a sweet pan with some olive oil to start with. Oh, fuck, I always do this. Who's got a lighter? <laughs> yes, I do. It's all right. Thanks. Okay, one large onion, three garlics. That's the proper way to skin that garlic. Closed, by the way. Little bear, as you will notice, is glowing white and princely clean today. He's had his biannual bath. So it's very exciting for him and us. Okay, just mince up this garlic quickly. Another trick with garlic, get some salt on it. Garlic, that can go in. Fennel will go in. That bit. That bit. Bed's so shiny you can barely tell them apart from the floor. The floor, yeah. I don't know how you top your fennels, team. Pretty much like that. Something like this. Any old way should do. Man, they had some terrible looking fennels and other coals. Fuck their shit merchants down there. I hate them. <laughs> Peddling just all the worst stuff. Man, where are the mushrooms here? Half his bag sort of thing? Oh, yeah. I like mushrooms. So the mushroom meal, the marrow, the. Oh man, the smell in this room is so nice now. The wafts of stinky ass little bear are dissipating as the delicious <laughs> smells of food overtake. Yeah, so we've got this fucking rabble rocked up to, right? Playing cards and pissing it up in my dining room, so we've got a lot of mouths to feed. Fucking Apple and his cunt friends. Anyway, that should be enough mushrooms. They can go in the pot too. And to this, I'm gonna add a bunch of dry thyme. Good. Teaspoon or so. Pepper. Got a much better pepper grinder now that I can find. Which is good. Did I mention that last episode? Anyway, a bit of pepper. And we'll let that stew down, I think. I'm going to put some more herbs later, some parsley and some fresh basil, but as they're fresh herbs. I'll put them in a bit later so they don't get sort of bitter as it all stews. I should take some pastry out to do for us. Yes, we'll do some pastry as well. So that can just sit there. Actually, let's do that now. That can sit there, get the pastry out. Excuse us now for Jesus, falls down every time. Great album, that one, everyone. Make sure you get it. So again, I'll probably need three sheets of this. It's really, really dry. It has been in the freezer since the last time we used it. Which was, well, what was the last pile? A month ago? That was the one we filmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the last pile we made. That was more than a month. Get in there. Okay, so these will take a few minutes. I'm just going to distribute them around the room to soften. And you can just stay there. Okay. Okay, we're just buttering up this pie dish. And I've got myself one lovely cup of French lentils there. Um, so they take quite a while to soften. That should do. The pastries are getting good. Not entirely necessary, but with lentils, I always like to give them a bit of a wash. Where's my... 
spanking new sieve. Splash minus of water and have a good look for like these little rocks and bits of grit and shit in them. We'll pick it over. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, that's using down nicely, that's good. We're actually drinking fine beer tonight. Just a bit of a interesting change. I think we were drinking these last time actually. You were? Oh right, yeah, you were. I was drinking that ten dollar six packs from France, whatever they are. Anyway. And these guys are drinking all my beers. Who have you invited them? It's rocked up. So we're pretty good with that tag, just chuck yeah. the lentils in. Yep. Okay. So in will go the lentils. Just roughly measure it out. In there, lentils, hold it, two and a half cups of water. I guess I'll measure it for you. Estimating because it's not my recipe and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry, I feel like I've set you this really difficult. No, 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 it's too exciting. Okay, so now we don't really have to add any salt because we did add it into the garlic earlier. However, finally got the good veggie stock. That's the good veggie stock, by the way. So I can chuck that other stuff out. I'll just put a touch of this in. Half a teaspoon. Okay, so that can be covered and we'll come up to the boil. And then it's going to take probably about 40 minutes, maybe a bit more, for the um, lentils to soften. Oh, hang on, I want to put the herbs in, don't I? Fennel and the herbs. Mm. Uh, fennel, 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 what we'll do with it? It's still covered. This is sort of the key to this dish fennel seeds. You want about four teaspoons, which is about that much, maybe a little bit more, but I'm just going to chuck all, all, all of that in there. Yeah? It's about four teaspoons of fennel seeds. So that's going to give it a nice aniseedy sort of flavour. We'll chuck in the basil now. This is a Greek basil out of our garden, it's pretty potent, so don't need much of it. It's going to be zesty. We are in. And a wee bit of parsley. About that much. And that's going to make it fresh and delicious. Right, so heat can go up, lid will go on. Once it comes to the boil, I'll turn the heat down so it's just simmering, but we'll get it simmering for about 40 minutes to get those lentils properly cooked. In the meantime, I'll get the oven on, we'll get the pie blind baking. That guy in wants to crack a little bit because it's a bit old and dry, but it doesn't matter. It's all going to turn to mush in the end anyway. Pie, 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 pie. What are you making there? Making pie, man. There we go. Okay, so as with the last pie. Oh, the capsicum. Oh, I forgot the capsicum. It doesn't matter. No, no, the capsicum go in. That'll, that'll just stew up nice. Yeah. Totally forgot about that. There you go. That's what happens when you don't make your own dish. Actually, it happens when you make your own dish as well. Good reminding, Tate. Cheers. What's that you're cutting up there, Nick? It's red crapsicum. Red crapsicum. Yeah, which we totally forgot to put in the stew with the veggies before, but it'll, it'll be fine as it is. And ideally it's good when you fry it with the onion and the fennel, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, no, we would be yeah. much better like that. Is Max a candy for Yeah, yeah, Bella's got him. So this should have gone in there in another pot earlier with the onion, but anyway, that'll just soften up nicely there, and I'll chuck it in the pot later. Uh, where were we? This stuff. Oh, bacon pepper. Now, the Stephen was saying he never bothered blind baking the base before. Well, that's fine. I mean, you still get a pie at the end. I like to get a little bit crispy on the bottom, even though it is sort of all going to be mushy later, but... Very nicely. What does that do? Well, that just holds the pastry in place, so when I bake it, it doesn't all puff up because it's puff pastry. If I just chucked it in the oven with nothing in it, it'll just be this big ball of puffy cooked pastry and I wouldn't be able to fit in the pie. Anyway, that goes in until we see fit. This is looking good. Just gonna chuck a bit of salt on it to get some extra dark there. This is good, nice and tarry now. That's what we wanted rather than just chucking it into the water. So that can go straight into this, we'll mix it through and back to where we were. So like we were saying, 40 odd minutes or so for the lentils to soften. At least it's 40, yeah. At least 40, yeah. yeah. Jeez, that's smelling really good, man. Cool. In the interim, play some cards or something. Give us a twist of your bastard. 
Uh, that pastry is probably, um, <laughs> probably blind baked enough. What are those flatbreads doing in the bottom of the oven? God damn it, why are they even bother changing my shirt? Alright, flat crisp on the outside, slightly cooked underneath. To try and do this cutting extraction of the rice again. On this side. Yeah, it's gonna... can sit there and just wait. I've got a few bits of rice in there, which will have to come out. I have added another like half cup of water to that just to keep it, um, I will put a bit more in actually, hey? Just to keep it all submerged. Max! What? You gotta eat the food! No! Not hungry? Didn't. But all your chums are waiting for you. You can't just live off tea that's made of... Yeah. Oh, cheers. Oh, it's hot. Not finished? Yeah. Oh, you're right. There's plenty left. It's, it's, it's empty. I drank it all. Now it's time for dinner. All your barnyard chums are waiting for you. That's very clever. Oh. Max, come and eat the food! No. Come and eat the food! No. Come and eat the food! I'll eat it. No. Come on, man. He's out of here. No. He's running away from home. <laughs> Okay, so then um, that lentil mix is all soft and delicious now. So I'm just grating up a cheese. You want like 250 grams of cheese? The recipe it. says goat cheese, which is hilarious. Yeah, we've never done it with goat cheese. Well, I've never done it I've before. never had enough money in my life to buy 250 grams of goat yeah, cheese. Yeah, yeah, so apparently it goes just great with cheddar. So here we are, I've just taken a quarter of the kilo block off and we'll just shred it up. Um, we're just going to shred a bit of mint up as well, chuck that in this little bowl and then the rest of the filling that we've just been cooking and we'll mix it all together and throw it in the pastry. Red wine vinegar. Oh, red wine vinegar, yes, don't let me forget that. I don't know how much a quarter of a cup of mint is, I don't know why you'd measure something that comes in leaves in a volumetric measure. You reckon that's a quarter of a cup? Whatever. Bunch of mint. This stuff! Check that out. Back to the fucking tops of the brown sludge. Hierarchy. Oh, away. Probably could have mixed it all just up in this pot, really. But anyway, cheese was in that. This smells great, Tags. Slop, slop, slop. Pizza and dinner, Max, it's on the table. No! No! I will not be made to eat. Uh, red wine vinegar. A uh, tablespoon. That a large tablespoon. Uh, that was it, yeah? Uh, yep. Cheese is in there. Yep. Cheese is in there. Let's slurp it up. Nick, your son just leaked it, holding a bottle of very strong alcohol. What? That lamp. Little, that lamp. <laughs> oh. It's sealed, at least. Yeah, he won't open it. Yeah, this is smelling good. The whiffs of vinegar coming off mm. it is pretty good. The vinegar really makes it. Isn't it? Yeah. Might give it just a taste at the end and decide if we want some more vinegar. Jeez, that's pretty exciting. Can't wait to eat this. Probably call that mixed enough. The guests are looking pretty excited. Mmm. Mmm, put a touch more vinegar. I can just taste it. I can certainly smell it. Mm. There we go. Okay, and this goes into our pre baked pie casing. The cube. What a fine slop that is. The cheesy stringiness of it all. The herby goodness. We're spot on. Um, last bit of pastry. Now I didn't actually leave this bit of pastry sitting on the bench for the entire hour that it took to make that mix. I put it back in the freezer because it was retarded of me to get that one out. But there we go. It has now defrosted for a short while. And this time we're all in luck because I bought some eggs so we can make a nice glaze for the top. And I'll do that in this bowl. No, you don't want a lot of egg crust, dude. It's going to end up absolutely everywhere. No, it's egg. It is an egg. No, please don't touch the eggs. Whisk that up. Maybe. 
That milk's still alright. Can I have some tea? Thank you. Is it hot? Yeah. Blow it. Blow it. Blow it. Yeah. Right. A proper glaze for our proper pie. That's just a whisks egg and a splash of milk. Good splash of milk. Going to get it all nice and eggy. It's going to go all golden and brilliant. And little bear's going to get a treat from his biscuits. Yeah, oh, more tea. Thank you. Wow, we're getting yeah, getting a tea. Is it hot? Is it a hot tea this one, Maxo? No, just suck it down, mate. Yeah, cool. Yep. All right, and this is Tavian's pie, so I'm putting a great big fucking tea on it. <laughs> Hey, okay. I once made a version of this part of the giant anarchy symbol on it for the anarchist book fair <laughs> debrief, but that's another story. Okay, back in the oven. And so that'll take 15, 20 minutes to still top its golden. Uh, in the meantime, a little bit. Oh, it's getting hot. Yeah, 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 it's getting hot. Um, so, we've just had a look at that, it looks pretty good. I'm going to extract it from the oven, and um, I might even let this one settle a bit. From that last pie I made, I just cracked straight into it, and it fell apart. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so just get some bits from the cupboard. Passionate, yeah. It it had to be done, you know, it had to be done. Have we got none of those fucking things left now? Yeah, it's finished. It's over. <laughs> Obscene gourd. Okay, pie, where were we? Um, I don't have a knife anymore. So, 
somewhat cleaned up. Let's crap into this. That's hot as buttery. Like a pie, mate. Okay, we probably don't need to go quarters because we're gonna. What do you reckon? Quarters? Mm, no. What do you guys reckon? Fuck them. <laughs> We've had enough of my food. Oh, smells good. That fennel's coming through beautifully. Got him. Got him. Yes, look at that. That's a serious bit of pie. Oh man, that smells good. I want to taste. All right. Oh yeah, man. Zesty and cool. That's delicious. Yeah, you know, I thought it would taste like more just like cheese and lentils, but yeah, then the other veggies have the real zestiness, which is sensational. <laughs> so there we go. I'm gonna save the other half of that chuck in the fridge once it's cooled down. And thank you so much for watching. This has um, been a lot of fun tonight. Uh, we'll catch you next time.